The next thing that we're going to work on inside of our application is another little piece of polish for our app. So another little thing to make the, our desktop application work a little bit more like how our users probably expect it will work. So I'm going to point out a little bit of an oddity in the way that our application currently works. I'm going to click on the browser window up here, and I'm going to click back over onto my coding window. Now I'm going to resize the window slightly, and when I do, you'll notice that the browser window in the background that displays the timer application is still open. So if I click between these, the browser window is just not closing at all until I actually go back up to the icon bar and click on it again. So this is completely dissimilar in behavior to how every other status bar in the world works, right? Every other status bar, if you open it up and then you close it, or you click away, I should say, if you open it up and then click away, you really expect that window that is based on the status trade to hide or to just somehow disappear. So I wanna make sure that if a user is using our timer application, great, but if they then click on some other application or click away in some fashion, I want to close the browser window. Okay, so let's figure out exactly how we're going to do that. To do so, we can watch for another event on our main window object. So I'm inside of our index.js file. Here's our app.onready call. Right underneath it, we create our main window using the browser window class. Right underneath this load URL call that we have, I'm gonna add on another event handler. So we're gonna look at our main window. We're gonna set up a event handler for an event called blur. And whenever this event occurs, we will run the fat arrow function that we are passing in as a second argument. And inside of here, we'll call main window dot hide. So as you might expect, the blur event is triggered whenever a user kind of clicks away or focuses away from the browser window. Whenever they click away, simple enough, we just hide that window. So let's test this out and see how it works. I will restart my running electron process. I'm going to resize my code editor just a little bit so we can get a nice point of reference here. Now when I open up the timer window, if I click over to another application, you'll notice that the browser window disappears entirely, just as we a user would probably expect this thing to work. Again, this is really only a step that I would undergo for uh, status bar or status tray based applications. If this was a normal browser window, like one that was just being displayed on the screen at all times, I probably wouldn't do the step right here. Because for example, you know, rem remember Atom is a Electron application in itself. When I focus away from the, my code window, it doesn't hide itself. And that's totally what I would expect, would expect for a traditional application. It's really just the fact that this is a status bar based app that I want to see that window disappear whenever a user focuses away from it. Okay, so another step of polish. However, I want to point out one, one additional thing inside of here. You'll notice that the main window code that we have right here is starting to grow quite a bit. So we're starting to get quite a little bit of code inside of here inside the index.js related to the setup and configuration of the browser window. So maybe we're starting to get towards a point in time where we want to consider doing another refactor just like we did for the timer tray to pull the main window out to its own separate class where we will load in a bunch of the logic like say the event handlers or loading up the URL and all that other good stuff. So in other words, do another big refactor and clean up this index.js file a little bit more. Maybe we're not quite there at this point, so let's continue in the next section and add in another feature, and then we will evaluate whether or not we should pull out this browser window or this main window implementation into a separate file. So we'll figure that out in the next section.